ओम शांति अव्यक्ति परिवार में आपका शांति वेलकम एवरीवन टू अव्यक्ति परिवार टुडे इज डे लव फॉर सॉलिट्यूड एंड प्रैक्टिस कंसंट्रेशन आई द सोल आई एम एन इमेज दैट ग्रांड्स विजन So I, the soul, am an image that grants vision. My devotees are standing in a line, having a vision of me, and experiencing happiness, peace, love, and bliss. Sitting in your worthy worship form, do the service of giving sakash through your mind and thoughts. Which effort will make me into an image that grants vision? and what things do i need to pay attention to in order to become an image that grants vision now the point to practice for the concentration of your mind continue to move along the rails of the drama second by second however in whatever way the drama is moving along let the stage of your mind continue to move along with it let it not shake even slightly keep with you the power to apply a brake and to steer your mind that is your thought power by doing this the energy of your intellect will not be wasted but will be accumulated the more power of the mind second by second drama ki patri par chalte raho jis riti se jaisa drama chal raha hai usi ke sath sath man ki sthiti chalti rahe so keep with you the power to apply a break and to stir your mind that is your thought power so by doing this the energy of your intellect will not be wasted but will be accumulated the more power of the mind and intellect you accumulate the more your powers of discernment and decision making will increase now we will be listening to mohini didi om shanti om shanti baba ke paas aaye when we came to baba so what did baba say baba said that i uh, make deities i will make you deity from human being and whoever is worshiped in in the temples so baba said you are the souls who become worthy of worship so since then since then that divine form within the self is always in emerged form so if that divine form is in is always emerged then you can also see it from outside i remember that once nirmal shanta dadi she came to uh, she visit us in new york so she said so at that time what used to happen is like if uh, i was alone so she said so whoever uh, come if they ring the bell so when they when you open the door so they should have that vision from you that you are a deity so i felt oh this is really good practice so since childhood i always used to feel like that that uh, even if it is uh, saraswati or durga whoever goddess is my form so when you start emerging that divinity within you so gradually what happened your face become a uh, example to serve others or grant visions to others so why i am giving you this example it's not like um so when i practice this so when i sit and practice then um my face my uh, will grant visions to others so every time whatever we are doing whoever comes in front of me or us so when we came into the knowledge in the beginning we were very few at center so baba used to tell us like 
is when new student, students come, if you tell them we don't have time, we have to cook food or something. So Baba used to tell us, you wash your hands, if you, even though if you are cooking, just tell them, wait, we are coming. So we just used to serve, serve every time no excuse so in india it happens like that whenever during the day anybody feels like coming visiting the center they come so sisters are always available so when you have this self-respect that i am an image that grants vision so that divinity that experience should emerge so what happens in the beginning when you meet somebody at first time if even though they don't know anything about drishti but the contact the first contact is with eyes through eyes so whenever you go to a religious place some temples so what you see the first thing is the eyes then their hands their hands are always like the hand of blessings and then their throne is always of lotus meaning everything has a meaning all decorations has some meaning so so we all know that what does that mean what are our decorations at this time so decoration doesn't mean anything outside if baba says about uh, spinning the discus of self-realization and if you spin that so what happened it's not like on your finger on your hand the uh, the discus is there or the count shell it doesn't mean that you have a count shell in your hand. No, your words are like that. They are giving inspiration to others or somehow like the soul, whatever I speak, my words are like that, purifying other things. If you are doing any, any auspicious task, then what in the path of devotion, they uh, blow the count shell. So all the decorations, we have to become embodiment of that. So what Baba says, like if uh, at confluence age, Baba cannot give us decoration, but that becomes our memorial. So all four decoration, if we practice that, so we have to practice that at confluence age meaning we have to become the embodiment of that so then we will become the one who can grant the visions so through drishti through your face your face should be cheerful all the time and it's not like uh how baba says no your teeth should not be visible but a divine smile divine smile just your face like inside how much mature you are or whatever is there like in your but your face face should be cheerful what that do is like that makes other people uh, feel peace uh, so i don't want to explain a lot but i just want to let you know that we but what baba wants from us is like become embodiment of all the decorations when we become that then we will be able to grant visions to other our eyes will be so stable concentration is there and others they will experience some attainments so why people go out to uh to some religious places or anywhere they feel peace when they go there they feel happiness they feel bliss so that should they experience now through your drishti through your face so when you go to baba's home you feel so much so much peace there so we are the living idols so we are creating that atmosphere so all Baba's children, they do yoga, they do tapasya. So with that, they create that environment which creates those vibrations that provides peace. So we are the living idols, living deities at this time. So uh, these days people, they have very different ways to do their hair. So once Baba said, so, so Baba 
Baba, somebody gave Baba something to wear on the head. Baba is like, I can't wear different things. Otherwise, my devotees will get confused. What is he wearing? Who is he? So just to give my vision in a concentrated way, the constant way. So it's not like changing the styles every time. So if, if I'm the one who is like image that grants the vision. So my visions should be uh, same all the time. It's not like I'm changing my styles always. So Baba said, I can't wear anything that my devotees get confused. So I have to become that image that grants vision. Om Shanti. I am a soul, an image that grants vision. So the practice of yoga, I, the soul, am an image that grants vision. My devotees are standing in a line, having a vision of me and experiencing happiness, peace, love and bliss. Sitting in your worship worthy form, do the service of giving sakash through your mind. So the thoughts, which effort will make me into an image that grants vision? What things do I do to pay attention to in order to become an image that grants vision? So the avyak signal for the concentration of your mind, continue to move along the rails of the drama second by second. However, and in whatever way the drama is moving along, let the stage of your mind continue to move along with it. Let it not shake even slightly. Keep with you the power to apply a break and to stir your mind. That is your thought power. So by doing this, the energy of your intellect will not be wasted, but will be accumulated. The more power of the mind and intellect you accumulate, the more your powers of discernment and decision making will increase. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.